Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader uh, at the techtrader.com. It's Tuesday, February 21st. Uh, these are the charts of the day. A bad, bad way to start the week on Wall Street as indices closed uh, pretty much near the lows for the day, going away with big losses. Uh, there were some stocks that stood out, but we're going to show some longs and shorts today. Um, Embrix Biopharma, which had been exploded in just for one day in December, and literally went from, oh, well, I think close at 41 cents. The next day was four and a half dollars, a 10 uh, fold increase in one day. And some big volume of that, if you recall, of 123 million shares. Which one would have expected? Then you're going to expect to see some core, some kind of consolidation. And this is what we got a three wave corrective falling wedge, an explosive move. From the low reached a dollar. Uh, 45 just <clears throat> a week and a half ago, the stock has exploded a dollar and a half to five and a half and it's taken out resistance. Your next targets might be if this thing gets followed through seven and a half and ten, but we'll see. EOSC also popped today. This is now three days in a row coming out of a little bit of wedge. You see the decline top sign taken out, and this wedge pattern certainly was taken out. The line picked up from well, it went from $1.29 to $2.39, and now I'm looking for extension to take it up to about $2.80 and $3.50. HLX popped out today. We put a swing and a day trade on it. It worked out. It did pull back, maybe an entry opportunity. It was still up about 12% today. Progress are 10, 11, and 13. My Q coming out of a flag, perhaps, but it's sitting up nicely. Today, it backed up a quarter. 3.6%, nothing great. What you want to look for is a move that takes out $8 and then runs into mid channel around 10 and then 13, 14. KOLD popped this, this ETF for natural gas, the bear ETF. It's phenomenal. From the November 23rd low around Thanksgiving at 10.33, stock today hit 80 to 81. So an eight fold increase. In three months, pretty amazing stuff. And yet, I don't see a top of it. Um, that's where yes came down there to 210 today, and the price of you know it's really dropping down quickly. And, and this thing has already popped just in the last four days from 56 to 81, 25 points. <clears throat> but yet, I see an extension to 90 and 105 potentially. So keep an eye on it. ROI being one of my top picks for the year, popped had an invert reversal engulfing bar off the moving average near the trend line. Now it's right at resistance here. Should it get through here? I would look for a test of 10 and 12. That's a top 20 pick of the year. SNS Smith and Nephew, after a six week consolidation, exploded 27.87 to 30, finished off a little bit, 28.50, but it was still up um, a couple of percent. We'll see if it works. I think 31 and 33 are for initial targets. BIR gapped and ran and popped and got all the way up to 29 and a quarter before. Backing off to 2740. It was still up at $1.66, six and a half percent, and volume was a solid 3.2 million for this one. There's a bunch of tops up there in the 31 and a half range. That's my initial target. Verica came coming out of a base with a wedge, it exploded, pulled back, and an engulfing reverse war from a low of 650 to 8.50, finished eight and a quarter of 33 cents. So way off the lows. And again, on the day, your next target is nine and a half, three quarters, and then. 12. Now on the short side, we have some stocks to show you as well. We'll start off with Calyx. Now, um, I was remiss in not giving it to you last week when I mentioned I wanted to uh, give you a sw uh, swing short. It went from 55.90 to 50 already. It's down five points, but I'm seeing lower levels towards 47 and even 40. CI. Head and shoulders top break down, snap back to the neckline. Today's reversal has me convinced this should be a tech trader short. It was down 708. And um, to me now, I'm looking for at least 285 to 277. And then we can see where it goes from there. NBIX, head and shoulder top break down, bear flag, pop in a little bear wedge. If this one takes out 99 and three quarters, you might see a stock quickly in the low 90s and even high 80s. Plexus came down hard and formed the bear wedge. Today it broke. This is a tech trader swing short, 91, 87, and potentially all the way down to 75. TTGT, um, 
long decline, but broke his bear flag and looking pretty weak. And have to say 37 and 32 are targets. And finally, VTLE, which is which changed your name, um, I think it was Laredo Petroleum. Anyway, bottom line is that rising wedge broke and it looks like it's coming down. I got a target of 37 and 29 for VTLA going forward on the short side. That's it for tonight, everybody. Some longs and shorts for you to take a look at. This is Harry Boxer wishing you a wonderful evening. Good night.